to go on to become a world champion. There's a long, long way to go before he gets to that kind of level. This is his third pro fight. He made the light heavyweight limit yesterday. A good habit to get into. No title on the line, so you could argue he didn't have to, but I always like to see that. And you just look at the size of him in there, Whitaker. It is like somebody has just inflated him since we saw him on the scales yesterday. That's not unusual. But looking up at the ring, there does seem to be a couple of weight divisions between the pair of them. Looking for a right hand over the top there. Grant, he wasn't that far away with it. You say that, Andy, but he's quite slim, I think, Whitaker. He's very tall, but he's quite he's quite lean and slim where, you know, you look at Jordan Pratt, he's quite chunky, isn't he? It's thick. Yeah, very thick set, big legs. And there's the showboating. <laughs> and just looking out of the ring at people at ringside. Grant is not going to be distracted by any of that. Whitaker just hopping in on one foot there, and I don't think they're really going to be able to control this, the, the training team. This is how he's going to choose to do things. He's just that kind of a character. Looking to try and measure that right hand. Nice one, too, there from Whitaker. Just got the distance on that one, but Grant did well with it. He was just sinking into that blue corner, took the heat off it. And Grant is doing well to stay to stay concentrated, and, uh, uh, regardless of what's going on and what Ben's doing. You know, he's getting a bit of a talent off here. Just asking them both to tidy things up a bit, I think, now, really. There was an indication that somebody was using the elbow a touch, and... A blow maybe had gone slightly low. Just waving that lead hand and looking for the right there, Whitaker, but just pulled off it slightly. Grant is looking for that right hand himself every now and again. I, I think we're quite to Grant's land, and he's just, it's no real conviction in the shot, and he's expecting something to come back. Whitaker just engaging with somebody in the crowd here as we enter the final stages of the first round. Leading off with that right hand. He seems to be talking to our colleagues, to Dan Aziz, who were quite a distance away. That's going to be a hard conversation to have, to be honest. I think it's Johnny who's shouting. Nice one, two there from Whitaker, and then just steps off. Just trying to beckon Grant in towards the end of the first round. Boxing on Sky Sports, brought to you by Voltero. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters than anywhere else this May on Sky Cinema. I'm looking for something unusual. Let's go. Shout if you want something. something pretty. Really, really lovely. Give us something to scream about. Something magical. Enjoy the latest blockbusters this May on Sky Cinema. Whitaker just staying on his feet in between rounds there. There's that lovely jab you're stepping into. What do you make of all of this, Macklin? Because if you're the trainer, what do you do with this? He, he's locked in, laser-focused in the gym. Everybody says so, but you can't really stop him doing that. It's just who he is. Yeah, exactly. I think he just, uh, Sugar Hill, knows what he's signed up to when he agreed to train him. He won't have just... He'd have done his research of who he is, how he's then spent... Probably had many conversations and thought, you know, he accepts that that's part of... His uh, alter ego, that's part of his, uh, you know, his Rick uh, persona. And you've got to remember, Sugar works with Tyson as well, so he's probably still a little bit of flair. 
Absolutely, that's a very good point. He's used to handling big characters. Right hand into the body there from Whitaker. He's found that a couple of times in the early stages. Had a chat with Jordan Grant, a long chat just before the weigh-in. He runs a tiling company, knockout tiling. He's had that for about a year, but he's dedicated to the boxing. Again, there, the one-two lands, but he's got the gloves up, Grant, and just allowed himself to just be knocked back into the ropes. Takes those again on that guard, but there's a big swelling coming up underneath that right eye, which will be a problem for him, maybe. Looking for that right hand over the top, but he's got through with maybe a jab there or a right hand, Whitaker. Good body shot. Again, just tapping with the lead hand there, Whitaker, winding up for the uppercut. Every single time he gets ground to the ropes, I can see all three of us are just waiting for something to happen. And we're just waiting for the shot to come. And, you know, he's just taking his time. He's just tapping away and he's one big shot. We're waiting for a great body shot again. That eye's a mess, though. You can see it swelling up almost by the second. It's worse than it was when I saw it square on about 15 seconds ago. The swelling mostly underneath the eye, but you can see it on the eyebrow as well. The referee just having a word there with Whitaker about getting ground in a little bit of a headlock well when you see it on screen there it doesn't look quite so bad but from ringside up close it looks worse just in and out with the feet there Whitaker. right hand cocked to ready to go huge right hand from Whitaker, who begins to dance as Grant gets back to his feet pretty quickly now that was a big shot a solid shot he maybe got up a little bit too quickly there Jordan Brown he could have done with the eight count and 28 seconds remaining in the round Whitaker looking to close in here winding up with that right hand again he's got to try and keep things tight here Jordan Grant get that guard up which is exactly what he's trying to do that was the shot we was all waiting for we knew it could come at any time and he just pulled it out the bag Clark might save him here There's that lead right hand and the touch of gloves between the two, but you just look at that forehead as he walks back to the corner there. Jerry Higgins, the trainer, will have a long, hard look at him here. The referee just having a quick chat with him as well. Steve, you get the hard one. They're trying to save an elbow. Well, there's a knockdown. That long straight right hand. There's a reaction to it from Whitaker. Touch with the left hand. Yeah, and then sends it right through. Well, you know, there was precision there, very accurate. Lovely right hand straight through the guard. But that's not that's not what caused the uh, the eye swelling though. I didn't see that. No, the eye come up well before that. I think the scariest part about that the the backhand that came through is it wasn't even. Oh, and he's it again. Eric Dow's right to the very start of the round here. Jordan Graham and here comes the town from the corner, and this fight is over. Whitaker on the corner post on the opposite side of the ring. Well, that was over before the round and really even started. Grant came into the centre of the ring, got caught, and you can see the balance just go completely, and the towel came in. You could tell that the corner were having a real close look at things between rounds, and over comes Whitaker just to commiserate with his fallen foe there. Well, we haven't seen him for a while. He's got plenty to say. If you talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. This is just a third professional fight. There is a long, long way to go. But he's walked the walk there, OK? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He's, um, you know, we didn't get to see too much. But what we see, he's good, and 
you know, we knew you, you know, you don't, don't, you don't give silver medals at the Olympics and everything else is won. But even on the few, on the very relatively short peer, uh, professional career he's had, he's been impressive, you know, his accuracy, uh, his patience, even cutting the ring off, you know, very good, really good. What I was about to say before he got the second knockdown is he, even in, when he landed the first backhand, it wasn't. So we're looking at the, the, the second knockdown, is this? Left hook. Yeah, just blocked it and then left hook. Short left hook as well. Good accuracy. You know, didn't try and wind it up too much. Just back, quick, short left hook. Just turned it over. In both shots, you can't say that the real power shot he did was not a really like substantial behind it, and he still has that effect on people. Yeah, the speed and the accuracy, though, and the timing of the shot. And the tower was quick to come in there from Jerry Higgins. He came straight out of his corner. He's looking to open up with that right hand. Gets caught with the left. It's right up above us. And you could just see the balance had deserted him straight away. And Whitaker was ready to go with the right.